Hey collectors, I am in the kitchen right now. Um, I was listening to a, a, a video, and I'm doing my hair, so. Um, a video on YouTube, and the thing that stood out with the young lady when she was talking about was orphan. You know, a parent who dies, who die are unknown or have permanently abandoned them at also a child who lost one parent. Now, the other thing I got was orphanage. You know, the residential institution, total, total institutional group home devoted to the care of orphans and children who for various reasons cannot be cared for by their biological mother, biological father, or biological family. Or parent, all right. So something significant about um, this individual being an orphanage, being left left by the parent, the family, or abandoned by the parent, the family, and etc. All right. So maybe this person went through life, you know, being abandoned for some parent reason, was taken up by group homes, foster homes, or whatever the case may be, or an institution, okay, for some parent reason. I don't know for experiment. I don't know for, like I said, the parent died or whatever the parent died or other kind of care for it for some, whatever parent reason. Maybe the whole family um, scattered. Throughout time, okay, it's gonna play. We're gonna post some cards because it's something about an orphan, orphanage, or a child that is a who grew up to be an orphan, or okay, or whatever the case may be. We have the ten of swords here, so this is telling me that something wanted to escape or ruin something, okay. Um, whoever this is was trying to learn from its past hardship, okay? Because I don't know if there was fear that something was going to come true or repeat the same situation over and over again. But what I'm getting was this question, was, it was hard for this person to decipher why it, it kept being a repeated ending with the Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? So this person, you know, had to pull themselves together, had to remember what, 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 and, and, and find out what transpires so I have to repeat the same cycle over and over again. The Ten of Swords in reverse means incompletion. All right, it completed uh, uh, a situation, hardship, fear, fear that something or a situation might be coming true again. All right, we got the the Knight of Swords in reverse. We got these cards coming in reverse here. All right. The Knight of Swords in reverse is a constantly uh, some kind of mis opportunity or misunderstanding or it says out of your debt, out of your lead. So something was so traumatic that it was impossible for this orphanage who, but who probably was in a foster care home or an orphanage or a village or a resident, it was impossible to figure out who they were, where they come from, where their background, what happened to them in past situation, okay, or the situation was beyond they need. They couldn't really figure out. It says out of your debt. It was out of their lead, okay? For some parent reason. It was out of control, all right? Is what it's saying. Somebody was left behind, okay? Is what I'm saying. Um, whatever this was, this this was this was done in a rude manner. This it had no care, an ounce of anything. This was very hurtful. It says someone who opposes and upset your plan. So maybe this was uh, uh, to mess up this individual plan. That's why this orphan who who was grew, grew up in an orphanage or grew up in a foster home or group home had many, many um a down downfalls, had many, many, you know, obstacles. Okay, had many, many, many betrayals and trials and tribulation throughout its time. Because whatever this was in the night of swords here, when I read it on the card was someone opposing and upset someone's plan. Maybe this person had was playing um was here to to carry out some kind of plan and it kind of um, came in and disrupt that but whatever it was it was out of someone's lead it was out of someone's debt 
All right. We're going to pull some more cards. And I don't want to keep this too, reading too long, but that stood out with, to me was an orphan. Orphanage was abandoned by family, by friends, by your biological parent. Maybe something happened to your biological parent that you didn't know or, or, or whatever the case may be. We got an empress in reverse here. So this is telling me this is a mother. This is not a mother. This is, wasn't a pregnancy or this was someone who was dealing with insecurity. This was also dealing with infertility. Okay, a lack of confidence here. So maybe this person, woman or this girl grew up not being confident, not really finding out who she was or who she belonged to, who her parent was, who her family was, or some case like that. It's just a lack of growth. So this person could not pick up where they left off and, and, and flourish because of, uh, of, of identity or because of the true identity, the, the, the identity from where this person would really actually reside or come from 544 on the clock when I said that and then whatever this was this person life was was in balance it was disharmony okay this person was very much neglected as a little girl or a little child or growing up okay we're gonna put some more cards up gonna keep it real short gonna keep it light and then on top of that to remember what transpired throughout the time it's very difficult 609 on the clock when I said that okay I'm in the kitchen because I got the AC on, the TV on, you ain't gonna be able to hear me. Alright? And I'm doing my hair. The page of swords came in reverse. So all these cards is in reversal. So what is in reversal to me is telling me that this is a karmic cycle. Alright? This is an ongoing, repeated cycle. The ten of swords in reverse is in completion. So this was meant for this person to hit rock bottom or be betrayed by multiple individuals throughout time. So this person's experience endings. It's not about endings. It wasn't good, okay? So when I get the um, page of a source in reverse, this was malicious. This was done on uh, purposely, but like, like I said, maybe somebody tried to intervene in the growth and the process of this young woman or this child right here, alright? This was a problematic person, whoever brought this problem to this individual life here, alright? It says someone who is unconcerned with others' feelings, so really this person wasn't loved. Was it 707 when I said that? Wasn't loved by whomever that was supposed to be the care provider and who was supposed to take care of the responsibility. So this person would definitely grow up, you know, abandoned, okay? And whoever this person in the position of the baby sword really didn't give a fuck about this person at all. Just really didn't. All right, so you could have been abandoned for a reason because of your mission, all right, and, and whatever the case may be. I feel like whoever your parents were, maybe they abandoned your family, they abandoned, did not love you, or something happened to your parents, okay, or this person's parents, or this thing. Female, if you a man, son, going through this, flip the roles how it fits, okay? 747 on the clock when I said that, all right? Let's continue. Let's see what a couple more cards says about this and how I read it, all right? We have the three of pentacles in reverse. These cards are coming out in reverse for a reason. So what I'm getting was, this wasn't a waste of time, a lack of ambition. This was some kind of delays. I don't think third, three party was in a situation. I feel like whoever this is, you hear many, many disappointments, many, many obstacles, and many, many trials and tribulations throughout time. All right? And also, three of pinnacles is third party situation. Okay? This is, this was a delay. Okay? Very disappointed. Really didn't believe in anything. Really didn't believe in yourself. Really don't believe in family. Really don't believe in any, anything. So this was purposely to, to delay this individual for whatever purpose. You got to figure out on the family part or what their true uh, attentions and agenda and try to get to know on the parent um, side, what was the true attention or a bear? Did something happen to them or did they did this on purpose? You gotta figure that out, all right? That's the question. What happened and why was this done to this individual? Uh, feminine or if you're male, flip the roles, okay? Is what I'm getting. So you really didn't have no support team. You really didn't have no fuck finances. You were strictly abandoned, like an orphan. Put in the orphanage. Just, I don't care about I, I don't love you. Type shit, all right. Whoever this is, you want some sort of leadership or took on some sort of leadership, being in charge of the situation dynamic or whatever the case may be. Whatever this is, you was here to make a decision and very independent, so you had a position, you had a seat, some kind of seat, all right, in it. And it had to deal with your status, it had to deal with your, your chair, it had to deal with you inspiring others to be creative and achieve whatever it is they was meant to be in arms um, to do on this. 
physical 3D. So your role was very important or somebody took that seat, um, a masculine here, okay? It's what I'm getting. Could be your father, could be another masculine that played a significant role in your life, masculine and feminine. Um, take the roles, how, uh, um, apply it how it fits, okay? If the shoe fits, it's it didn't work, all right? If you do not apply, let it fly, all right? But I'm talking about uh, people that was abandoned by your own, okay? Abandoned by your family. And others outside that had to care for you, teach you, groom you, and, and help you to develop to the being that you are today in this lifetime. We do have the moon card here. It says follow your intuition. Maybe you had a gift. All right, give it the gap, and then and then the three of swords. So yes, she was heartbroken. Yes, she was betrayed. Yes, she was separated by something. Maybe your gift or block off, or or you was dealing with some kind of abuse or some kind of abuse conflict of growing up or pain. That's all you have to endure throughout your life, masculine and feminine energy. I can resonate with you, um, individual, because I experienced this myself. All right, it was some kind of deception here. All right, is what I'm getting. You would. Put in throughout your life through fear, anxiety, anxiety, and illusion. Okay, dealing with insecurity and past hurt and pain and trauma is what I'm getting. So whoever you are, if you did overcome this, goddamn, you something else. All right. So things are not what they seem to be because you still got question, or they still questioning somebody behind the scene because whatever it is is being done behind the scene 11 19 on the clock when i said that okay but you're dealing with some kind of heart pain overcoming some heartbreaks betrayals loneliness or whatever they say they try to remove you from the earth or try to remove you from society all again and put you in that orphanage abandonment some type of situation you could be somebody here in the situation for a family member to do this if they didn't deceit deceit me passed away or they just abandoned you for, for some apparent reason. You gotta figure that out, all right? Sometimes you gotta go back to understand what your what your now and your today is and why you became a better person or why you became the person that you are today to understand what transpired in your past life, okay? 12 o'clock on, on, uh, on the clock, all right? Is what I'm getting. Let's wrap this up and then I'm gonna upload this, all right? I wish I could go deep in it, but everybody's situation is different and some of you guys, you've been abandoned. By your own, all right, for whatever reason, okay. Well, for whatever reason, we have the six of swords, I mean, the six of wands in, in reverse. So, this was a public humiliation, that's what it was. It was to remove you and also public humiliate you, embarrass you because now you don't know who the fuck you are. Now you feel like a failure, and now you feel like you're lost in life, and now you got people that's taking advantage of you. You have feel like you had a disadvantage in life and now you feel like you are disgraced to the fucking society or whatever the case may be and being haunted by past trauma and trials and tribulation from your your path your life family's life and growing up in society as being an orphan or being someone that was abandoned by your own 13 on the clock when i said that playing in second fiddle okay taking losses and not really winning 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 i feel like you feel like the world was you was cursed by the world or you was born into the world being cursed all right it, it's not that it, it, it could be you gotta check your bloodline 13 and 19 on the clock when i said that okay the bloodline so, and for a minute, you was in the Six of Wands, public humiliation. So, whatever was hitting behind the scene was to public humiliate you. I feel like whoever, whoever this is really don't fucking like you, whether they blood or not. Whether they family or not. Because this is sickening. But luckily, some of you guys came out all right. Thanks to the village and the group homes and the institution that raised you to become the person that you are today, clear minded. Congratulations, Collector, because this is not easy to overcome. Okay? 1401 on the clock. I'm gonna live off with one more card. What's the out outcome of the situation? Damn, you still got people in the background. The outcome of the situation, you decided to compromise. Don't compromise your integrity. 14, 14 on the clock, all right? End of conflict. That's the that's the ending. That's the that's the ending of this 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 your role struggle is ending of any conflict right now, all right? Reaching some kind of agreement, anti uh, anti um tip, um anti pathetic is a setback, a disagreement, petty squabble, squabbling me, petty fighting, 
it says petty squabbling. So petty, petty, just fight me for no fucking reason. You ain't got no time for that. 14:44 on the clock when I said that, all right? So you ain't, you ain't, you ain't ready to squabble. Fuck me, what you mean squabble, nigga? I'll break your motherfucking neck. Type shit. I've been through a lot. A lot of you been through a lot. All right, these motherfuckers that raising these orphans, orphanage, orphanage. You better look at. You better, you better, you better relax, okay? They better relax. They, they got the other shit on side of them. You know, but don't be in these institutions now, okay? Being abandoned by the world and society and your family, man. You don't know what they mind be thinking. You keep fucking with individuals that have been abandoned in life, all right? So these people better be easy with the five fucking ones and reverse pipe petty, petty squabble with my motherfucking neck. Nigga will break your motherfucking neck, all right? But some of y'all is cool, laid back. Let me get one more card and I'm going to log off and I'm going to upload this and finish my week braid of my hair. Yeah, they want they want to take your strength, your power. They want you vulnerable. They want you weak. They they want you to have a low self esteem, a lack of confidence, feeling in equitic. All right, being bullied. Yeah, you was bullied. All right, yes. Come through, spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You was bullied throughout your whole fucking entire life. Bullied by bullies. I stand up to motherfucking bullies. You understand? I don't like bullies. I can't. I despise bullies. Now fuck bullies up. I don't give a fuck if you ten times my side. I can't stand bullies. All right? Last card, I kept saying that. Yeah, new, new good news coming in for you. You got the courage. All right? I'm telling you, it got, um, I don't think it's competition because I don't think you can't compete with anything. I don't even feel like this person trying to prove it to itself and whatever higher pile power it is. That it is important, whatever, whatever society, whatever, however they grew up in, really didn't matter, all right? This, you are very energetic, got a lot of energy. You can be young, or you can be an old soul, a young spirit, or whatever however the fucking case I might say, all right? You have a part in a society, maybe a speaker, an inspirational speaker, all right? Something that you're dealing with, with your voice, all right? And not a, a, and on top of that, Jupiter, so you got to good luck. So whoever you are, congratulations. I do not want to go deep in this meeting because I was, I had to rush you through this because I was doing my hair. We braided the braids, but, um, Spirit was like, pause that for a meeting and get this, um, um, download this message. Thanks to the young lady, I'm not going to mention your name. Because if I forget before they fucking ask at 1717 on the block, start fucking with my speech and shit like that, all right? This is collecting. It's something about orphan and orphanage, okay? It's something that dealing with this person, uh, life, what they went through in life, all right? Um, whoever you could, you could deal with in your family or it could be you, all right? Hopefully you guys are having a beautiful day. All right, I'm gonna come back with another one when I, when I finish my hair, or I'll come back tomorrow. All right, peace out, y'all.